Yes. That was the hardest racing seed in the game. It was almost to the point where I thought it was going to be impossible unless I I unequipped all of my clothes and then got a triple speed buff. Man, that was crazy. Oops. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off. We didn't- we weren't able to go down there, which is sad, but we did go back into the Yiga Clan hideout. We, uh, <laughs> we sent all of the Yiga Clan members to the Shadow Realm, and we got an orb, which we promptly threw in there. This time, we're going to be going into the shrine that it opened up, as well as finishing off the, uh, what is it, the Beast Tamer Trials or what, whatever. We're going to be going to uh, the Divine Beast Vom Vonaburis fighting Thunderblight Ganon once again, which is my favorite blight, so it's going to be quite enjoyable. Let's start off by going inside the shrine. Inside the box, Kihiro Mo Shrine. Oh, it's one of these... Not one of these. I mean, we haven't seen one of these in a long time. We have an apparatus. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? What is this? What is... I... Mm. Oh, I think I see what we're doing. Let me exit this. We have different colored... Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay, this is, this is kind of sweet. This is kind of sweet. It's sort of like a uh, one of those things you see at libraries or whatever, where you have to guess how many paper clips or marbles are in the jar. It's just like that. So we have to count how many of each color there are. So let's okay. I, I need to shake this up. Try to get them a little bit more horizontal. Oh, this is gonna be. Ugh. There's one red that I see. Maybe two. And I can't shake them up too much, because if I do, then I, I lose count. I see one red, but I'm not sure what that one in the corner is. I have to, I have to turn the gamepad all sorts of different directions. I never thought Breath of the Wild would want me to actually use the gamepad backwards. Uh, yeah, I, I count one red. I think that's... yeah. Yeah, there's definitely one red in there. So, let's... This is kind of cool. One red. And, and they give us four different slots, so that if, say, there was one of each, we could do that. So, one red. Oh, wait, wait. One red. Alright. There are a bunch of blue, but we're not going to be looking at blue. We're going to be looking at green. That was kind of weird. Yeah, this is sweet. I, I, I'm wondering if we're going to be going uh, doing this kind of puzzle again. One, oh, man, there are so many blue. One t green. I see two green. Is that right? Yeah, I see two green right now. Also, these remind me of bocce balls. Does any Has anyone played with bocce balls before? They're like... Also, it looks like there's some plain... Yeah, there's some plain balls in there, too, to throw us off. They're, um... Bocce balls, this kind of... This, uh... How would I describe it? It's sort of like... It's, it's kind of like golf. Did I say two? Yeah, there are two. It's sort of like golf, but it's a it's a street or not street. It's a, a yard game, which is pretty cool. It's 
It's one of those games that it's great to bring to family reunions because you're going to have people who play it. That's a good one. Also, uh, there's a game called Koob, which I forget what like nationality it is. I think it's a Viking game. Okay, we're we're looking at orange here. I see two orange. Yeah, this is very clearly two orange. But yeah, Koob is fun, but it, it's really hard to get to explain it. There are a lot of moving parts, which kind of kind of explains why it it has not. It's not that it hasn't stood the test of time. It just not as well known because it's not easy as easy to pick up and play. Okay, blue. One, two, three, four. Four is my count. And once again, there are some oddballs in there that don't actually have color. One, two, three, four. It's hard to tell with the reflections, but I'm fairly certain that there are four blue. Or four. Is this blue? This isn't really blue. This is more violet or um, lavender. Lavender is what I'm thinking of. Violet's a little bit di darker. I was right! Wait, are. No, okay. I'm guessing they're gonna have one more puzzle for us if we want, yeah, if we want to get the chest because that's too easy. That's, oh, oh man, that's sweet. They're like, okay, now how many of the fake ones were there? How do I, I need a fake one. Uh, where, where put? Can I grab that? No. Where do I... Where I get? Uh... Wait a minute. This dip. This dip. You know what I'm willing to bet? And this is a good idea? I'm willing to bet that since we open this up, it also opens something up on the cube, and we can get one of the balls out of it. Let's see. No. Hmm. Well, while we're here, let's count them. One, two... Three. Yeah, there are three of them. Okay, if there are three of them, then we need to find one of the balls, and I guess we could... Do we jump in? I'm just gonna jump in, see what happens. Ugh! That's wrong, why did I think that would work? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! 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 That thing's metallic! Okay, so I was, I was kind of right. I, I was kind of right. By uh, solving this, we get access to the cube, and since we have access to the cube, we can flip it around. Ah, gyro controls are weird. Okay. And then we should be able to spill all of these out. Because that thing is... And that's what that nook was for. We can slide it back. And we get all of them! And I whistled in success. These things are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Cool! We get to play around with these. If you like to play around with with uh, Breath of the Wild bocce balls, here you go. Can we stasis them? We can stasis all of them. Now what I want to do, and what I want to see, I'm going to launch this to there from here. I want to see some, some guy mod Breath of the Wild and make it so you can play bocce ball. Fly! Where? Where? Oh, there you are. Okay, so there were three of them, and in case you couldn't count from there, you can just dump them out and see yourself. There are three. So this was actually really easy. That was kind of scarily easy once you figure out that you can take out the bottom. That's pretty cool, though. And like I said, I, I'd really like to see them, some guy make bocce ball. Because there are a lot of cool yard games you can make with in Breath of the Wild. Got our Thunder Spear. And now, let's get our reward, leave, and then go fight the Blight. Hi ho, hi ho, to Divine Beast not Vamanuburus we go.
Divine Beast Von Boris. Is it sitting? I never noticed that. The... It's sitting down. Or laying down. Laying down like only a camel or a horse could. I don't think... Actually, I'd, yeah, I guess horses can do that. Kind of. Oh, man, I really shouldn't have... Have eat... Of, uh... <laughs> inhaled that desert dust. I don't think it's desert dust. In exchange for Nabooris' emblems, you'll be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. That's fine, I can shield bash. I, I, I'm good. Do not take this plate li place lightly, nor dismiss it simply as a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Ugh, man, that was a long loading screen. So we're given a golden sword and one of the, the Gerudo shields. And it's, go it's going to be really important that I use my, my resources wisely here because I need to shield bash. And I don't have that many healing items, so if I miss the timings a few times... I'm pretty much done, because shield bashing is really how you're supposed to do this. I mean, yes, you can get flurry rushes, but I feel like shield bashing is a little bit more optimal for this. Hopefully they'll give me bomb arrows, because I, I have seen footage, because I've been able to look at footage, you know, and uh, now that I've done this, and apparently you can break his shield. So, okay, I have a daybreaker. Oh, I do not have a bow. Oh, well, well, I have this, I, I guess it's not that bad because I do have Druk's protection and I, I would like to get use out of it, although when it comes to, when it comes to shield bashing, I'd rather it not hold my, my hand, I'd rather do my own dirty work, I have stasis, now, whoa, when you guys were talking about how difficult this might be, ugh, uh, you made an excellent point with with your resources here, and considering how master mode gives uh, gives enemies regen, these trials would be so difficult. I mean, they'd be they'd be difficult in uh, the the normal story as well because you know they, in things like this where they they stand back, they're healing. But for this, it's an absolute nightmare because you're, you have very limited resources and you're not able to do, uh, you're not able to deal damage constantly, especially in this one. There we go. You're not able to deal damage constantly because you do not have a bow. So this would be an absolute nightmare. Okay, bring this up. Come on. Hit him. Yes, got him. Oh, and he fell. Good. Stasis. Whoa. Oh. I don't have a bow, so I can't do anything about the shield here. But I haven't missed the shield bash timing. Of course, now that I say that. I will not miss another shield bash timing. Can I stasis you? Oh, he's so close. Yes. Yes. I powered right through the shield with a spin attack. Oh. Spin attacks are useful. I, I figured out that it's it's more optimal instead of doing the uh, let's see one two three four hits with the the sword. If you do one two three and then do a shield bat or not a shield bat a spin attack because it it can be two hits and it's more powerful I think. So it's just more optimal and there's no reason for you not to spin attack instead of doing the fourth hit unless you have critical. Uh, Unless you have the, the critical strike uh, weapon bonus, but for all intents and purposes, it's better to do that. And we saw it there. I was able to get past his shield, or else I'd have to shield bash one more time. That was sweet. I love that boss battle. It's, it's my favorite in the game. Oh. Perhaps meeting you here was 
No coincidence. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts, as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Urbosa has truly invigorated oh. me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here. Near the, the divine beast Valnaburis, which Urbosa herself ma mastered. Mm. I have written a song to try and capture the, the essence of Champion Urbosa. Recall Naburis' champion of sand before she was lost to the land. Chief Urbosa's heart was strong. So the princess came along. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> Princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. <laughs> Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Though she was a fierce warrior, the Zegerudo chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. Mm. So, what do you think of Champion Urbosa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of the Champion Urbosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel so much more confident than I, that I can do those missing lyrics justice. I must say, you are an impressive vogue. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. 
Urbosa's Fury plus, or Champion Urbosa's D Divine Gift, summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area, trigger with the charge attack by holding Y. It now requires less time to recharge. As if it wasn't already so powerful. Let let's look at this. That is not it. Double charge, and then... Let's, let's look at this. Four minutes! Four minutes. I believe that is also, so that is going to be the case for all of these, one-third of the charge. Now imagine in Hyrule Castle, where these these abilities' cooldowns are <laughs> are half of what they normally are. That's f that's two minutes. We get to insta-kill nuke everything. I guess not insta-kill, but we get to nuke everything. And Rivali. Oh, hey. Red Rupee! You get to you get to fly constantly because it's a minute cooldown. It is a minute long cooldown. That's nuts. And next time, uh, I actually don't think we're going to be going to uh, to Lanayru next. But we're also not going to Elden next. Or I guess yeah, it would be Elden or Lanayru. We are uh, there. There's a list of quests that I've been given by. Uh, the amazing people in the comment section, and I would like to start on those. Uh, we're not going to be taking too big of a break, maybe one episode or something. But I would like to go back to some of the towns that we visited. Not looking quite at the list yet, but I would like to go back to some of the towns and talk to people. As specifically people who have quests, as well as talking to the people of stables, because I know that there are some quests that we, or I, have missed. So we're going to be... Sp spending the uh, next maybe probably two episodes it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a giant break it's just a very short break to knock out some quests and then we can continue on with the uh, champions ballad thank you so much for watching I release new episodes of breath of the wild every Monday and Wednesday and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity and would like to see my channel grow bigger, go ahead and hit that share button. Share your favorite video of mine with one of your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Courageous hero, dare you confront a realm of illusion and memory? Dare you enter the divine beast Vanuburis? Enter? Yeah, yeah, my favorite boss battle that I can do at will. Oh yeah. You have given Hyrule so much, yet I have one more request. Should you happen upon my old diary, please show it to the princess. What? There's a section about a dear friend of mine. What? Her mother. She left this world suddenly, leaving Whoa. her sweet daughter behind. This is new. How the loss must have wounded her. That's weird. I was n I was not expecting new dialogue and there's a diary that we have to find? Talk to me in the comments about that. And whether or not I should go back to Va Meadow and conquer it again for additional dialogue. In fact, no, I'm gonna do that right now. You again? <laughs> well, since you're here, tell me. How is Rito Village faring? Everyone seems to be doing well, as far as I can tell. I can't fathom that it's been 100 years. There's no one left who would even know me. But even so, it will always be my home. Well, it's not a quest. But... We get a little bit of insight into and some candor into Rivali's frame of mind. 
I'll definitely have to do all of the other boss battles twice going forward. I didn't know that there would have been dialogue for that. That's pretty cool. Okay, see ya! Huh? <laughs> 